I mean, it's easy to just fall into that like complacent trap, just like not wanting to do anything. Because I mean, let's 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 be for real. Even if you're working from the house, you're not working a straight eight hours in the house. It's not happening. Right. right. You're gonna dedicate a, a, a few hours, jump on the meetings that you that you need to jump on, and then from there you got free time. So that boy, that boy Tyler's on himself. I work <laughs> my self snitching. Nah, like, man, new rappers. I, like, I, like, I didn't say I did. <laughs> I, I worked my full eight. I did overtime. I was working ten hours. But exactly. Uh, <laughs> these other folks. Um, I mean, I think it's just easy to just fall into that, you know, that realm of laziness and just complacency and like, man, I'll work, I'll do it tomorrow. There's always tomorrow, you know? Um, but then there were some people that took advantage of it. Mm-hmm. Like they took advantage of that of that downtime. And um, me, I, I definitely stayed in the gym. I didn't, I didn't really lose a beat at all. Um, I actually got stronger. Yeah, so. I did too. It's just, I mean, sometimes you use it for your benefit, and other times it could be a, a catalyst to something a little bit more negative. So, 